With the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6, Samsung introduced a very interesting competitor to the Apple iPad Pro 11 inch. Even though the S6 is noticeably cheaper, both tablets have lots of features in common. They can be used with active pens, official keyboard docks are super slim, have high end displays and premium internal hardware. Which one is the better tablet? I'm NJ for MyNextTablet.com and that's what we'll discuss in this comparison. A couple of words about pricing first. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 costs $649 including the S Pen and with 128GB of storage. The keyboard costs another $179. For the iPad Pro you've got to spend $799 for the 64GB version without any accessories. The Apple Pencil 2 costs $129 and the official keyboard $179. Let's start with their designs and build quality first. The design is a bit similar because both have a full metal body with a glass front and we don't get any physical buttons on the front anymore. The Galaxy Tab S6 is a bit narrower due to its 10.5 inch screen compared to the 11 inch iPad Pro. Because of their metal bodies both are very premium feeling and both feel a little bit fragile. That's because they are super thin. The Galaxy Tab S6 is a bit thinner with 5.7mm compared to 5.9mm and it's a bit lighter with 420 grams compared to 468 grams. On their sides both have power buttons, volume controls and yes both even have a USB Type-C 3.1 port. And you can connect hard drives, USB sticks and even monitors on both. While the Samsung tablet has a micro SD card slot, that feature is missing on the iPad. And yes, there's no headphone jack on either of them and that's very sad. But on the positive side we get 4 speakers with both and that is great because the sound quality is much better than what we get with most competitors. Both offer great sound, however when you compare them directly the speakers of the iPad Pro offer a bit better bass and a bit fuller sound. You can unlock the iPad using Apple's Face ID facial recognition which works very well. It seems to work better and better over time and works great at night too. I almost never have to enter a pin. The Samsung tablet on the other hand can be unlocked using a fingerprint scanner that sits underneath the screen. It works great most of the time too. However sometimes I've had to try it twice until I recognize my fingerprint. The cameras are quite similar. The 8 megapixel front camera on the Galaxy Tab S6 and the 7 megapixel webcam of the iPad Pro offer almost the same sharpness. Samsung's is more wide angle and it actually offers a tiny bit more detail but that might be due to more post processing too. That's what I can say about the main 30 megapixel camera on the back as well. It seems to be a tiny bit more detailed than the 12 megapixel iPad Pro but Apple's videos look much better. The Galaxy Tab has a 5 megapixel wide angle camera on the back too but it can't be used for videos and the quality is pretty bad especially when you check it out on a big screen. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 has a 10.5 inch screen with a resolution of 2560 by 1600 while we get an 11 inch screen with 2388 by 1668 pixels on the iPad Pro. You can see that the screen of the Apple Pro is a bit wider but the viewing area for watching movies is about the same. In theory the Samsung screen is a bit sharper with 287 ppi compared to 264 ppi but it's hard to see a real difference. Both are very good screens with wide viewing angles and excellent color reproduction. It's very hard to tell what's better when you look at contrast or color reproduction. You would think that the AMOLED screen from Samsung is better than Apple's IPS display but that's not the case. In fact while most aspects are very similar the iPad Pro is a little bit brighter. You can use active pens on both screens. The iPad Pro supports the Apple Pencil 2 and you can use pretty much every S Pen with the Galaxy Tab S6. It does not have to be the one that's included. Both are very good pens with some great features but also some downsides. Now both are pressure sensitive of course and are great for drawing and handwriting. While the S Pen has one single button on its side, the Pencil 2 has a capacitive side which you can use to change tools for example. Both can be charged wirelessly by attaching them to the tablets. Apple's decision to put the Pencil on one of the longer sides is better than Samsung's charging plates on the back because you can't lay it flat on a table anymore. 
To me, writing with the S Pen feels more like writing on real paper, because the tip is soft and not as slippery. With the Apple Pencil 2 on the other hand, it clearly feels like writing with plastic on glass and it's much more slippery. But the Pencil 2 is thicker and more comfortable to hold for long periods of time and it reacts a little bit faster when you draw something fast. That might be due to the higher refresh rate of the screen too. You only notice a difference when drawing fast though. Basic features are very similar. Both have notes apps with pen support and you can take and annotate screenshots with both. While you can find more optimized apps in the iOS app store, Samsung has more features built in like its air commands. With those you can translate something for example. There's also a screen off memo feature with which you can start to take a note fast without having to unlock the tablet first. You can also overlay a note onto another app and adjust the transparency. That way you can take notes while watching a lecture on full screen for example. You can do something similar on the iPad Pro, but you can't adjust the transparency of the notes app. Let's get to the internal hardware. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 ships with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 SoC, 6 to 8 GB of RAM and a 128 GB or 256 GB storage. It has a microSD card slot too. Apple ships the iPad Pro with its Apple A12X Bionic processor, 4 to 6 GB of RAM and a 64, 256, 512 GB or 1TB storage. You can see in my Geekbench comparison that the iPad Pro is much faster in the single core and the multi core test. And that's even though the iPad Pro is almost a year older. And while both tablets run very fast with everyday tasks, you can see a difference in real life when it comes to gaming. I played Fortnite and PUBG Mobile on both tablets and even though the graphics settings are identical, meaning super high end with both games and both tablets, the graphics with both games look noticeably better and more detailed on the iPad Pro. With Fortnite for instance, you can set the graphics to epic on both, but it still looks better on the iPad. And that's the case with PUBG Mobile 2. Even when setting the graphics to HDR on both, it's not as detailed on the Galaxy Tab S6. I also did a video render test with Adobe Premiere Rush. For that I rendered the same 9.5 minute long 4K video on each. While the Galaxy Tab S6 needed 16 minutes and 16 seconds, the iPad Pro finished after just 8 minutes and 38 seconds. So yeah, it's much faster. A major difference between the two is the software of course. The iPad Pro is running iOS 12 out of the box, but I've got the iPadOS beta running already. The final rollout should start very soon. Samsung on the other hand is shipping the Galaxy Tab S6 with Android 9 Pie and it's One UI in version 1.5. In the past Apple has been much better with updates for older tablets and I'm sure that will continue. However, Samsung is very good for an Android manufacturer. Usually the Galaxy Tab S tablets are getting two big updates. Well, which operating system is better? That obviously depends on what you prefer. As a general rule, I'd say get the same one your smartphone has. If you're an iPhone user, there really is no reason to get an Android tablet. And if you're using an Android phone, you will feel right at home on the Galaxy Tab S6. However, in this case, it still might be worth it to get an iPad if you need a better performance or the larger app ecosystem. If you're looking for a specific app, chances are higher you will find it optimized for an iPad than an Android tablet. For example, with Affinity Photo you've got a great Photoshop alternative that does not exist on Android. Many standard apps however are pretty much identical on both platforms. Among those are apps like Microsoft Word, Adobe Premiere Rush or Adobe Lightroom for example. Now it used to be that I thought Android is much better suited for productivity work than iOS, but that changed in recent years and even more so with iPadOS. You've got very good multitasking on iPads now and even though you don't have a full access to the file system, you can connect external hard drives and transfer files now. You can even connect a mouse, although in this case it still works much better on Android. Android itself is not that optimized for productivity work as iPad OS is now, but Samsung is filling the gap with their One UI. First you've got all those S Pen features that iPad OS does not have, but there's also a desktop mode called Samsung DeX with free floating windows. If you connect a keyboard and mouse, you can get some office work done that works very similar to a full desktop PC. So everybody must decide for themselves of course, which software features you need and what better fits your workflow or whatever you want to do with the tablet. 
Let's quickly talk about keyboard docks. The one for the Galaxy Tab S6 is not available in Germany yet, so I couldn't try it yet. But it looks very promising with its integrated kickstand and touchpad. It connects via a pin connector to the tablet so that you don't have to charge it separately. I've been using the keyboard cover for the iPad Pro since I got the tablet at the end of 2018. It works great and I've written tons of articles and reviews with it. Most of the time it's worth it to get the official keyboard covers. Well, in this case both offer them, but both are very expensive. There's a clear winner in my standard battery test. Both results are excellent overall, but the iPad Pro lasted longer with 18 hours compared to the 15 hours of the Galaxy Tab S6. For this I'm always looping the same HD video at medium brightness and turned on Wi-Fi. By the way, the battery life does not always last that long. Depending on what you're doing, it might last you several days or a week or so. Or just a couple of hours if you're playing Fortnite at maximum brightness. And both tablets can get hot when doing so, especially the iPad Pro. Alright, that's the end of my Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 with this Apple iPad Pro 11 inch comparison. Both are excellent tablets with tons of features. However, overall, I think the iPad Pro is a better tablet, at least generally speaking. That's because the internal hardware is much faster. It has a brighter screen, a bit better speakers and probably longer updates. But the iPad Pro is much pricier too. If you include the Apple Pencil 2, it costs around $280 more, which is quite a lot. And of course, that's why Apple can use some better components. Now, the Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 continues to be the best Android tablet you can buy. If you want to save some money or you need those special Samsung features, it's still a great choice. For instance, I really like that you can overlay a transparent note over a lecture. That's a great feature. And if you would use Samsung DeX, it's a great choice too. Or do you need the wide angle camera? Only Samsung offers that one right now. So which one do you prefer? Write us down below and we can have a classical Android versus iOS battle. Alright, that's the comparison. If you liked this video, please hit the subscribe button and check out mynexttablet.com. We are two people working on that website right now and you can find all of our reviews and tons of best lists with the best tablets with keyboards, best tablets for reading, best tablets with a pen and so on. There are really lots of recommendations there. I'm NJ for mynexttablet.com. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Wow, 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 wow.